All right, so once you have your, um, your welds up top ground off smooth, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put in the, this would be piece D, which is the bottom part of your rack, the bottom crossbar. So when we put this on, we're gonna need to use a 3 16 shim on the underside. So you should have um, probably like a four foot piece of one inch by 3 16 flat bar that you can use to shim. So just put that down on the edge of your work table um, so that the piece, the, the bottom cross piece can sit on that when we weld it on because we want it to be 3 16 above the surface of the table. So then we're just going to go ahead and place this on top of your 3 16 flat bar so it could be a 3 16 gap between the table and your, your square tube right here. Um, and then we're going to get it flush with the bottom of each of the sides and then one thing that's important to note here is you don't want to weld on this top seam because we're going to add your piece of four inch by eighth flat bar or your diamond plate on top of this and we don't want to weld in the way of that. So only weld this bottom seam right here and then you're going to grind it off smooth and then you can also tack the back side as well. Um, you might not have a ton to tack to as there's probably a light hole there but not a big deal this isn't going to be a high stress piece anyway. So. Um, get your get your tube flush with the bottom go ahead and tack both corners on both sides and then weld down it solid and grind it off and then go ahead and tack both corners on both ends And then you can go ahead and weld both of these solid. And if you want, you can tack, do a couple tacks on the inside. Yeah. 